You are eligible to vote in a federal election if you are a Canadian citizen and will be at least 18 years old on election day. When you vote, you must prove who you are and where you live. There are three ways to vote. You can vote on election day or at the advance polls. If you cannot or do not wish to use either of those options, you may vote by special ballot, either by mail or in person at your local Elections Canada office. For more detailed information, check out the Elections Canada website, www.elections.ca, or call toll-free 1-800-463-6868, TTY 1-800-361-8935. This is a voter information card. If you are registered, you will receive one with your name on it well before Election Day. It shows the addresses of your Advance and Election Day polling stations. If the card has an error in your name or address, you should contact the local Elections Canada office for your electoral district. The address and phone number are on the card. If you have recently moved, become a new citizen, or turned 18, you may not receive a voter information card. If you do not receive a card, you should contact the local Elections Canada office as soon as possible to register. Remember, your voter information card cannot be used as proof of identity or address. In order to vote on Election Day or at the advance poll, you must prove who you are and where you live. You can provide one piece of identification showing your photo, name, and address such as your driver's license. Or you can show two pieces of identification. Both must have your name and one must also have your address. For example, your health card and hydro bill. For a list of authorized pieces of identification, visit www.elections.ca and click on Voter Identification at the Polls. If you do not have authorized pieces of identification, you can swear an oath and have an elector vouch for you. Here we are at a typical polling station, which is usually found at a local community building. Look for the polling station pennant, a big yellow sign outside the building. When you arrive, you may see one or more tables at your polling station. In our case, there are three. Each polling station serves a polling division, one of which will be yours. So, which table do you go to? To find out, you hand your voter information card to the information officer. The information officer will tell you which polling station to go to. There are two people at each polling station, the poll clerk and the deputy returning officer. You give your name to the poll clerk who will strike your name off the list of electors before you vote. The deputy returning officer will then ask you for proof of who you are and where you live and hand you a folded ballot for voting. This is what it looks like. Now it is time to vote. Here is where you mark your ballot. Elections Canada provides the pencil.
The ballot has a black tab with a number on the back to make sure the ballot you're given is the same ballot you bring back. The ballot lists, in alphabetical order, the candidates who are seeking election. Mark one of the circles to make your choice. You then refold the ballot, hiding your choice, and take it back to the deputy returning officer. That person tears off the black tab and gives you back the ballot, which you then place in the ballot box. End of process. Simple, wasn't it? If you would like to have an interpreter present, you can bring one, or Elections Canada can provide one. But you must contact your local Elections Canada office to make your request for one by the Thursday before Election Day. You may also bring a friend or family member to help you vote. If you have any questions, please call toll-free 1-800-463-6868 or TTY 1-800-361-8935 or visit www.elections.ca.